A new day. You're damn right. What if everybody started saying that? Dawson would tremble. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think you're going nuts. They want mass panic. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> the laugh is fabulous. Use that. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So, brand new trailer for Gotham Season 2. If you don't know, it's actually coming in less than four weeks. It's gonna start, like, the third week in September. There's just, like, a couple TV shows that start around then. It's, like, the beginning of superhero TV this fall. I'm gonna start with the people that we do see in this trailer, but there are a couple big things that it leaves out that we already know about. This is called the Villains trailer, so, of course, it's gonna focus on all the new big villain characters. Primarily, the Joker, Jerome's character. The way they're explaining it is this is like the rise of Jerome's Joker. Now, they're not going so far as to say that he is THE Joker, you know, capital T-H-E Joker, but he is A Joker. The comics have always played with the Joker's backstory just a little bit. They, they mess with it quite a bit during the New 52, but originally he was the Red Hood before he was the Joker. That's why when we got the Red Hood episode, everyone was like, is this going to be a Joker origin story? Is Jerome going to get that Red Hood next? Disappointingly, the show decided not to go that route, but I feel like they've course corrected a lot of other big things in season two. Even Ben McKenzie, you know, who plays Gordon, was talking a little bit about some of the things that he thought that they got wrong in season one. It's always fascinating to read stars criticize their own shows. But working our way down from Jerome, next big villain, Tigress and her brother, played by James Frain. Now, this is kind of funny. James Frain, amazing actor, huge get for any TV show. So this is going to be that much more fun for having him on. But have you ever seen a TV series where he does not end up being a villain? He's been all over TV this year. Like just, just most recently, if you didn't see it, he was part of True Detective Season 2. Season 1 of that is way better. So if you haven't seen True Detective Season 2 yet, you can totally skip it. Tigress kind of looks like she's filling that Fish Mooney void in that she's like a medium bad. I mean, she'll be like a big villain but she's capable enough to marshal her own forces. She'll, she'll have like her own squad. It's hard to tell what her relationship with James Frain is going to be. It looks like he's going to be working more in high society, more court of owls than anything else. She's going to be like the street level villain. There is this really wigged out looking scene with Barbara and her. So it looks like crazy Barbara is going to be team Tigress this year. I'm totally down for that. The trailer looks like it's selling us on an Arkham prison break, which I feel like they should have done last year, but better late than never. Because they've been filming episodes for a while, they have announced like a few new minor villains that they've cast from the comics. I'll talk about them a little bit as they come up, just because it's a little premature. So far, like most of the exciting villains, they show in this trailer, like the, the biggest draws of the season. The Joker, Tigress, James Frain. Fish Mooney is not coming back, if you guys didn't know. Jada Pinkett Smith only had a one-year contract. And even though she's an amazing actress, I felt like her character just did not fit with what this show is trying to do. I felt like she was throwing a lot of Eartha Kit on her performance. And that's amazing if you want to watch classic 1960s Batman. You know, just very campy, a lot more fun. Gotham does have like a certain fine layer of cheese to it. You know, like in the superhero sandwich that is each week. But I felt like her Fish Mooney performance was just like a little too over the top for me. Also heavily featured in the trailer, the Riddler slowly going crazier and crazier. Can't wait to see more of that. It was really hard to tell, you know, before the finale last year, how far they were going to take him. He got to the point of murder, but then they kind of took it back a little bit where he hid it, he covered it up, and he was acting like normal Enigma again. So we might just see him get like a little bit nuttier, see some more elaborate riddles. He fills a lot of the similar roles that Cisco does on The Flash. He's like the explainer character. So if villains are going to be getting their comic book names in Gotham, he's probably going to be the one to give them. But just in general, like this whole season is going to be permeated with the proliferation and development of villains, which I feel is really exciting. Batman stories that are a little bit darker usually wind up being a lot more fun. And along those lines, one of the big criticisms that a lot of the stars of Gotham had about season one themselves were that they did like the Freak of the Week episodes. So season two, they've really decided to push hard on serialization. What that means is, is you'll see more running storylines that'll develop each week instead of problems beginning and ending with each episode. I think it'll be a little easier to develop some of their side characters, like Barbara, for instance, had a terrible storyline in season one. And when you serialize, you can stretch out a small story over a number of episodes rather than having to info dump in like one or two episodes. 
The other thing you guys should get crazy excited about is Michael Chiklis. Now he's not going to be a villain, so that's why he's not in this trailer, but they've already released a couple promo images of him. He's going to be like the new police captain. With the rise of villains, you know, you have to see new heroes come in too to match that level. He's going to be one of those new heroes, but he'll be like a hard-ass captain. Like classic 70s ball buster, I ain't going to take your shit captain. I'm not sure which episode he's starting in, but he'll be a series regular, so that means he's going to be in most episodes. And unless things change between now and the end of the season, there'll be 22 episodes total, just like last year. So time to get hyped. There'll probably be a couple more trailers between now and the first episode, so I'll just, I'll do videos whenever those post. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I'll try and do as many bonus Batman videos as possible. What's going to happen is, is once all the other shows start, like Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, all that other stuff, it's going to be hard to do bonus videos for everything, so I'll just have to prioritize. So I'll try and do as much Gotham Batman stuff before that other stuff gets started. But if you're on the fence about season one, I feel like season two is going to be light years better. It's going to be way better than season one. If you guys haven't seen it, I do have a playlist for like all my Gotham videos, but it's it's on like the about playlist page. Sometimes you have to click the more button. So I'll add a link right here if you if you haven't watched season one or you need to catch up. And you can click here to catch up with the Flash season two. It's going to be an amazing season of superhero TV. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.